नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स दिस इज एन जे ये होस्ट ऑन दिस चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल हैव अवर डिस्कशन ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ मेंटल हेल्थ एंड वी विल डेफिनेटली टेक अप द केस स्टडीज ऑफ पीपल हु हैड इश्यूज ऑफ डिप्रेशन दे वर प्रोन टूवर्ड्स सुसाइडल अटैम्प्ट दे वर ऑन द सुसाइड वॉच एंड दे एंडेड अप कमिटिंग सुसाइड सो विच ऑल आर द कॉम्बिनेशन विच कैन लीड टूवर्ड्स दीज काइंड ऑफ एक्शंस वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इन दिस वीडियो लाइक द वे गाइज यू नो दिस थिंग दैट मेजोरिटी ऑफ द टॉपिक्स विच आर पिक फॉर माई वीडियोज दे आर लाइक ऑलवेज सम हाउ कनेक्टेड विथ द थीम ऑफ दैट डे एंड आई गेस दैट इज द ओनली रीजन दैट द गवर्निंग प्लानिट्स ओनली इन स्टिल दोज आइडियाज इन माई माइंड सो राइट एट अ टाइम वेन आई एम रिकॉर्डिंग दिस वीडियो इट्स द टाइम ऑफ द न्यू मून एंड दिस न्यू मून इज लिटल बिट स्पेशल एज वेल बिकॉज दिस न्यू मून इज ऑल्सो सेलिब्रेटेड एज द बर्थ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ द प्लानिट सैट एन एज वेल सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी पोस्टेड अ वीडियो दैट वेर आई हैव इंसिस्टेड यू दैट इफ यू एक्चुअली फॉलो astrology you believe in karma theory then you cannot undermine the importance of the planet saturn so this is a very good day for honoring the energy of the planet saturn through some charitable gestures uh, in order to honor the energy of saturn in your life so okay guys now we will uh, start our discussion and before that it's my humble uh, request uh, like if i go to the analytics section i get to know that out of all those people who watch my video almost 70% of them have not subscribed my channel so guys please um the subscription count definitely act as a motivation for creators like me to keep going and definitely it's a field of research and i definitely want to stay motivated driven to be working only in this field so i need your support in the form of the subscription so okay guys now we will start our discussion it's a very sensitive topic so i will definitely try my level best to uh, handle it with as much uh, expertise and empathy as much as it is possible and trust me guys i do not have any inhibition in saying this thing that there was a phase in my life where even i dealt with depression even i attempted suicide so trust me whatever i am bringing out there in front of you i have been there i have been in those situation so i can fairly empathize with it so okay guys the very first uh, case study is of the robin williams so as you can see over here guys like see whenever you have to see these kind of cases so uh, you have to study the chart on two parameters the very first thing is that okay if a chart has come to you here i'm not talking about those cases where we already know let's say for example someone approaches you uh, with a consultation and this person is showing the symptoms of uh suicidal thoughts depression and all so whenever you come across this kind of situation so definitely guys uh, you have to first see uh the strength of the lagan or the ascendant is this person uh destined for a premature death or not so that is the one thing which you will get to know via scrutinizing the ascendant and um influence on the ascendant lord second thing is that we have to see the state of the moon as well like is moon uh, placed in the 8th house in the 12th house uh, is moon in the influence of the planet saturn rahu ketu or mars so these are those kind of alignments or like uh, involvement which can definitely make someone's mind little bit stress prone and definitely if uh saturn and rahu are instilling fear and mars is also aspecting it so it actually create a kind of situation where native get this sudden um kind of you know rush in order to take a decision in order to get rid of all of his problems in one go so regarding that you have to pay attention to the moon as well along with that guys over in these kind of situation um like how karmic your chart is that also play a very pivotal role like let's say for example if someone is born at a time of the like at a time of the new moon at a time of the 8th day of the waning phase of the moon or the 14th day of the moon or like um, there are like certain uh, kind of uh, grahan eclipse kind of uh, yoga in the chart and all then definitely a uh, native will remain very much prone and vulnerable towards the cycles of the nature like transit will definitely have a very strong governing say in the life of the native and trust me guys 
uh, in this video the two case studies which i will be presenting in front of you you will definitely see a pattern so one is the chart of a celebrity whose life we all know and another is the chart of a a layman a common person who also ended up in certain situation circumstances ended up uh, like finishing his life but even in his chart as well the circumstances the running the shah transit on that specific day is also promising that so we will definitely try to see and understand the correlation so yes guys these are certain things so i'll repeat you have to give attention to the state of the ascendant of the ascendant lord you have to see the state of the moon you have to see that how karmic the chart is and you have to see the running dasha so guys now we will first uh, take up the case of the robin williams so as you can see on his uh, ascendant chart in itself that uh, he is born with the uh, libra lagna now the ascendant lord in itself has gone to the 11th house it is conjunct with ketu over there and if you will pay attention to the moon moon is placed in the 5th uh, house and it is also like now moon and ascendant lord are strongly in the axis of rahu and ketu and guys uh, like when we talk about like um, nakshatras which makes someone very much prone towards uh, mental anguish suicidal thoughts uh, suicidal attempts and all of that so satbisha is very prone towards that like there are like certain features which set aside satbisha from other nakshatras like satbisha natives can be genius satbisha natives are the most addiction prone and sadbisha natives are most prone towards mental health problems issue along with depression and suicidal cases and all so uh, over here only we got to know about the very first eligibility which is getting fulfilled over here and guys even if you will um, watch any of the documentaries done on the life of robin williams you will get to know the kind of uh, mental health state he faced the kind of mental anguish and turmoil he went through and just in order to curb and deal with all this depression and all these things he also took refuge in uh, like you know uh, alcohol um, substance abuse and uh, even uh, he had a certain failed relationship as well so that also tells about it he used to say this thing that for me uh, entertainment uh, comedy is all about um, you know kind of uh, finding a release for the uh, pent up nervous energies so definitely guys as moon is placed in the fifth house uh, moon is conjunct with rahu as well the degrees of uh, rahu and moon are very tightly conjunct so that in itself tells about that definitely he was a entertainer for sure he was a performer for sure he was very true to his art to his craft and all and he was a very true philanthropic as well like um, he also kind of proves all the traits of uh, aquarius and sadbisha as well like the way uh, there have been all those um, like uh, interviews on him that where uh, wherever they used to be filming he used to give lot of chances to the homeless people and different people and i guess that also tells about that somehow he had lot of empathy for people who by themselves are going through issues of homelessness mental health problems uh, substance abuse drug abuse problems and all so that is the one thing which we get to know from over here apart from that guys uh, definitely we have to give attention to the nakshatras as well so not only he um, has his moon in the uh, sadbisha nakshatra but his lagan was also in the nakshatra of the rahu which is the swati nakshatra so over here we get to know about this thing and now guys if you will even look at the state of the um, navamsa chart as well so even in the navamsa chart as well the first lord of the navamsha which is uh, the planet jupiter it is also debilitated in the second house now guys in lot many uh, cases what happens is that see uh, no matter uh, divinity seeking um, divine refuge helps you in life's testing times as well a lot many times even if it is not serving any purpose at least it is giving you a purpose a mission to stay contented and have a focus and vision for your life but also if, even if in the d9 chart a uh, planet like jupiter which becomes more important because it is the lord of the uh, varga and debilitated it also kind of uh, brings down the hope to a very um, you know kind of to a very low levels that there's not much of the uh, say where the luck is going to help you uh, in order to safeguard you in that moment of impulse 
सो दिस इज वॉट अबाउट हिज लगन चार्ट हिज नवांसा चार्ट हिज नक्षत्र नाउ गाइज इफ यू विल गिव अटेंशन टू दी दशा लाइक ही कमिटेड सुसाइड ऑन इलेवेंथ ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी फोर्टीन सो राइट एट दैट टाइम ही वॉज इन दी केतु महादशा सो इट ऑल हैपन इन दी दशा ऑफ द केतु नाउ एज यू कैन सी दैट केतु इज कंजंक्ट विद द असेंडेंट लॉर्ड इन दी इलेवेंथ हाउस सो गाइज फॉर ऑल दोज पीपल हु आर न्यू टू एस्ट्रोलॉजी लाइक वेन वी टॉक अबाउट विच ऑल प्लानिट्स कुड बी रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर योर डेथ फॉर गिविंग यू डेथ सो वी ऑलवेज से दिस थिंग दैट वाई सेकेंड हाउस एंड सेवेंथ हाउस आर कंसिडर्ड एज द किलर हाउस और द मार्का हाउस सो दैट्स वेरी सिंपल लाइक एट्थ हाउस इज द हाउस ऑफ योर एज एंड लॉन्जिविटी ट्वेल्थ फ्रॉम इट इज द लॉस ऑफ लॉन्जिविटी सो इफ एट्थ हाउस इज द हाउस ऑफ द एज योर लॉन्जिविटी ट्वेल्थ फ्रॉम इट इज द सेवेंथ हाउस सो दैट्स अ फर्स्ट किलर हाउस इफ लाइक फ्रॉम एट्थ इफ यू विल अप्लाई द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द भवाद भवम फ्रॉम एट एट प्लेसेस अहेड ऑफ इट यू विल रीच द थर्ड हाउस सो दैट मीन्स थर्ड हाउस कैन ऑल्सो गिव इन्फॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग योर एज लॉन्जिविटी सो ट्वेल्थ फ्रॉम इट बिकम्स द सेकेंड हाउस another killer house and the first house also tells about your life your longevity 12th from it so generally the second house um the uh seventh house and the 12th house has to form some sort of combination then we can say this thing that okay this was something which was determined right at that point of time and premature death is something when in the a uh, surge of emotion and impulse you take decision again guys uh, definitely uh, no one uh is going to uh justify uh committing suicide now that is a different case that in different parts of the world now certain countries have passed that law where uh voluntary uh because of some disease which you are dealing with you can apply for ending your life um but again uh, when we talk about the religious way of looking at it so see guys i do not have much of the uh, knowledge on the tantra and all but what i have heard from many uh, enlightened beings is that even those people who commit suicide before their time even their soul stays struck in between of the dimension and the kind of hardship and agony which you go through in that astral world that is much more painful and difficult compared to this physical body so from all levels uh this is one decision which no one like whether from uh, medical science whether from our social structure point of view no one is going to approve of that so this was about his chart guys in a nutshell uh now if you will look at the uh, planetary alignments at a time when he committed this decision so uh, definitely guys i wanted to give more attention to the transit of the moon on that specific day so guys as you can see this thing that on that specific day moon was also transiting in the aquarius in the sadbisha nakshatra so so far we got to know about this thing that he was in the uh, ketu mahadasha and within uh, ketu mahadasha he was in the sub period of the planet saturn as well so the planets which were responsible right at that time which were activated it was ketu it was saturn it was venus and it was sun which was activated but most importantly ketu was also involved over there and again guys when we talk about generally it has been seen that people who uh, commit suicide by hanging themselves so hanging yourself generally um it is one such typical case of suicide committed through or because of the influence of rahu and ketu like you can end your life in different ways as well but this is one such practice which comes under the uh, control and influence of the uh, nodal axis so guys right on that day uh, definitely moon was in the aquarius so he had kind of emotions very intensified on that specific day moon was also in the sadbisha and guys over here as well if you will make a comparison over here right at a time a comparison between his birth chart and chart at the time of the suicide so right at that hour the rising sign was 12th from his ascendant and he had moon transiting on the same sign uh, which is placed in his birth chart now guys the second uh, chart is of um, like another case over here only details which i can give it to you that uh, like a guy who is like hardly 17 years old who committed this step and everyone in the family was shocked 
so we will be seeing this thing on uh, two levels so first we will try to understand the natal chart the parameters which i have just explained you have to pay attention to the ascendant you have to pay attention attention to the ascendant lord you have to pay attention to the moon individually how karmic the chart is and the running dashas that only will give you this indication that okay how alarming the case is because definitely guys apart from all the calculation part astrologers are gifted with a sixth sense as well that give them this instinct that okay this person is a very uh, kind of alarming case where anything can happen at any time so at least you can forewarn the family members and connect the person with the right set of authorities so guys over here as well if you will see um the person is born with the uh, virgo lagna with uh, ketu being placed right over there in the first house now if you will give attention to uh, the chart see the ascendant lord in itself is very well placed being there in the ninth house if you will give attention to the moon individually so yes moon is um, in the pisces in the revati nakshatra moon is conjunct with an exalted venus and with rahu so generally guys like okay i'm not sure about the reason of the suicide and all but generally we know this thing that this is one such combination and specifically amongst the teenagers where we talk about either it's a case of like where you secretly admire someone you secretly like someone there is a case of being in a closet not being able to come out of uh, with your sexuality so certain issues of academics of because uh, this chart is not looking as much as prone towards the mental health definitely vulnerability is there but it has got more to do with the issues of the relationship and all which again um the family might not be knowing about it and generally when these kind of things happens so people do not even reveal the true reason as well so yes uh, we can see over here right looking at the condition of the moon now which dasha was activated right at that time so uh neta was also in the maha dasha of the ketu within ketu he was in the rahu antar dasha so like the way guys i always say this thing um Uh, whenever the nodal axis gets activated in the dasha this could be ketu mahadasha rahu antar or rahu mahadasha ketu antar this is uh, going to be a time over where um, nature tend to have a very strong say uh, in someone's life like no matter how strongly and how much other person is going to say that um, had i known this thing i would have done something i would have safeguarded um, but generally whenever you are in the strong influence of rahu and ketu somehow nature is pulling the string where the native himself tend to remain very much helpless and these are those kind of situation that is the only reason guys we always say this thing that the habit of uh, staying very firm in your religion the habit of staying very firm in the good habits like the way for example if you have this habit of uh, going to your place of uh, faith place of worship this could be temple this could be mosque this could be gurdwara habits of unconditionally helping people serving people staying very close to the nature and everything so you know this way every single day we are putting something in our good karmic account so that whenever these kind of harsh time comes these good deeds done by us safeguard us they protect us knowingly unknowingly consciously unconsciously your deeds only is acting either a shield or acting against you and definitely astrology works equally for everyone even the gods who have incarnated they were also in the influence of the uh, planetary time period but yes good deeds done by you at one stage of the life you do not even know at what another stage of your life you will reap the reward of it or returns of it so now guys definitely uh, if you will look at over here as well in this chart as well um right on the day when this person uh, uh like committed the suicide uh, if you will see he was in the ketu rahu time period and very precisely if you will go he was in the ketu mahadasha moon antar dasha and the rahu pratyantar dasha ketu and moon was in a way was activated as you can see that how strongly moon is hemmed in the axis of the rahu and ketu and now guys if you will look up the chart on the day the baleful day when this incident happened so right on that day i also have the exact time as well now we will see the similarity and the pattern over here as well the pattern which we saw even at the uh, time of uh, or in the chart of the robin williams as well so uh, right at a time when he committed suicide uh, at that specific hour minute and second so because time is exact so you can see that um, the sign rising that point of time was 12th from his ascendant second thing is that even if you will pay attention 
moon was very intense that time so you can see that moon was in the scorpio so somehow influencing his third house so person is depressed person is somehow deluded and he had this force and sudden whims to take that decision as well and if you will see how strong his eighth house was right on that day so definitely because sun stays in one zodiac sign for a longer span of time but uh, sun mercury rahu jupiter lot many planets were transiting in his eighth house which led to this decision so yes guys uh, this is something which i wanted to say as a part of my inputs for further more updates and notifications on the divine science of vedic astrology please subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on my instagram account dhanyawad